My name is Hawa, and thank you so much for, you know, deciding to be here with us today. <laughs> How's it sure, been? It's my it's pleasure. Much. How's it been? You're good. I've been, I've, good, good. It's been good. It's been good, for sure. It's been good. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm like, gosh, you're looking good. Or whatever. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with your Big Brother Naja experience. What was that like? Because I feel like most people judge because they haven't been in the house. So tell us your first-hand experience yeah. of in, being in the house. I mean, being picked in was definitely an opportunity for me. And yeah. I really appreciate it. And being in the house, getting into the house, it was... Trust me, the house looks better than it looks on TV. The house... Wow is something that excited everyone and you know i went to the, into the house to be myself to be me literally and i was doing me for sure in the house okay but you know being isolated for two weeks yeah. and finally getting to see everybody the house was definitely an, an, was an amazing experience for me i had fun being in the house for sure that's great there's always speculation with every season of Big Brother Night that people didn't audition, it's connection, all of that. How did your audition go? Where did you audition? Yo, I don't, there's no connections to being in Big Brother. You audition, you have to prove yourself worthy of being in the show. That's okay. basically it. Like, yeah. There was, wow. there was no connection involved, for sure, okay. for me. And it was my first time auditioning, so yeah. Wow. Oh, that's great. Where did you audition? Yeah. Where? Online. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't. Online. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Everybody was online this year. So, okay. That's true. That's true. Okay. So, let's talk about, you know, the in-house experience. Going into the, into the house, did you think that you were going to go in with a strategy? Did you have something made up in your head? This was how you were going to present yourself? Was there any strategy oh. going into the house? Um, so, I'm my person and I feel like, or oh, I know for sure that my whole vibe and notice my environment. I'm nice. I'm a sweet person. I love to help people. I like to make people happy. I don't like bad vibes. So I'm a whole good vibe on my own. So I went in to be myself. And I feel like I was picked for being me in the first place. I went in to be myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the fact that it was about me and Eric. So the truth yeah. is, me being quiet, me not really getting along with people. That's why I am. Because it was just the second week, first, second week. You don't expect me to get along with 19 people in a week thereabout. Yeah. I have to, you know, gauge everybody and then, which was what I was doing. And eventually I would see the people I connected with, the people that, you know, have the same mindset as me and can yeah. relate with me properly. And then, you know, we get, get along properly. So me being quiet was definitely me being me and me, you know, trying to observe. And trust me, I was listening to a whole lot of things going on in the house. I knew what's up uh, People didn't realize that that was where I am. But they only saw okay. the picture of Lilo and Eric, which okay. made most people feel like, oh, I was in there for a relationship or I got carried exactly. away by love. Because some people thought that, you know, you yeah. went in with that relationship strategy, like you've been in a relationship no. with Ghana no. vote or would make people really like you or something like that. No. Now let's talk about Eric. No. What, what was the first thing that attracted you to Eric? Um, I mean, you so, did say that you had a relationship, but then, you know, we saw you and yeah. Eric. You guys were cute. You guys were cute together. There was a, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but we there were attracted. 10 attracted girls and 10, mm -hmm. girl, and 10 guys, obviously. Exactly. And yeah. Eric was literally the only guy that was on to me back to back. Wow. I spoke with like, other people. Like, it literally, even on the first night, um, Prince, myself, um, Eric, Alvin, you, we shared two beds together. So if... You were to say who I spoke to first. It was actually like Prince and I that was like together, like first, okay. like as friends. I mean, being in the house mm -hmm. together. But Eric was the only guy that was on to me back to back. Like, oh, okay, babes. I've spoken to every girl in the house. I'm like, you're the only person that I vibe with, the way you talk, the things you say, and you know, whatnot. I don't know if you guys saw that on the show, but he was the only guy that was on to me back to back. So, and with my personality, like, that's why um, I tend to, you know, I wasn't going to push him away like, oh, no, get off okay. me or whatnot, which okay. maybe I should have done. But, yes, yeah, so it was just okay. because it was on me back to back. And I thought, like, I could handle us being friends, which I was doing, like, the first week. So when, you at know, what point did he progress friends were from cool being and friends? was just chilling. At what Obviously, point? Obviously, like, I think it was that? after the Saturday night party. Okay. we made out and obviously it 
to me it was already like a, it passed the friendship stage already because okay. we we met out and you know then we you know started talking more and chilling okay. more and obviously so did it bother yeah. you though did it kind of bother you that you know you had a boyfriend i mean of the house uh, did you speak to your me, boyfriend that this kind of things might happen did it bother you like that it definitely did bother me because mm-hmm. it's not something that i planned like okay i, I haven't that's, been that's to the big brother house before mm-hmm. that's not like i've had this experience for me Okay. But I went with the impression. Of course, I have a boyfriend. I'm not interested in any other nigga, which I wasn't. Like Eric wasn't the finest guy in the house, but you know, so it wasn't like I went in to look for a boyfriend or look for like someone to bond with or try to have a relationship with. We started off as friends, and things, you know, happened, which probably okay. got out of control. Yeah. yeah. So you feel like that relationship with with Eric kind of swayed you away from the game itself. Because I remember, I remember watching a certain diary room session where Biggie literally said that, you know, you're in control. Did you think that you had the power to, you had the right to take back the power in that relationship and just... Coming out of the house, I felt like I should have, like I, I had the power to. But after I got out of the diary room, you know, mm-hmm. seeing him and him coming again to bombard me with, are you okay? I was diary session, laying with me, holding me. Maybe I just didn't know the right approach to, you know, but okay. no excuses, man. Like, no excuses. Like, I have to own up to my shit. I, I was so too what, weak, for sure. So what's happening with you? <laughs> Where do you see you and Eric when he finally gets out of the house? We're because friends. We're friends. Relationship. We're definitely close friends. Like, he even said I was his close friend. We're close friends. And sure. then your boyfriend, are you back together with your we're boyfriend? We're still together. We never broke up. We're together. We're still together. We never broke up. And he up. handled it fine? He handled all of that fine? Yo, people make mistakes at the end of the day. He knows who I am. And he wouldn't say because of a mistake I made making out with somebody mm-hmm. um, within a week or two. And then yeah. it's going to throw away like what we had or like, you know, all the good things that, be, you know, my personality. He wouldn't throw it, he wouldn't throw it away because of, of a mistake away. I made. Mm-hmm. But of course, like it's not something he's happy with. We've spoken and argued and you know discussed it, and we're getting over it for sure. Or okay. we're still together, one hundred percent. We're still okay. together. All right. But then I think that Eric still has the impression that when you get out of the house, you guys are going to kick it because he did not say that with <laughs> his friends, and you know you guys are still cool and all of that. You know, what, yeah, what do you have we're to still cool. Even you know, cool in, in the that house. Way. Even in the house, we spoke about it and I said to him, like, yo, the only thing that might make us dis- consider having a thing is if I'm no longer with my boyfriend. But okay. if I'm with my boyfriend, you know, outside the house, you don't have a chance to, you know, to take that space. Uh, so oh, it was okay. definitely aware about that. Yeah. Now, you know, Thank we didn't get to a, a lot of sides, uh, you know, to Lilo. Yeah. I mean, you came in, a whole lot of people were excited. In fact, I think that she trended like on the first day because people were hyping you know, up all of that. So I'm saying the question is, uh, what side of Lilo did we not get to see in the house? Like, give us like, you know, an image of what what we're missing right now. An image, obviously. Lots of people said they didn't get to hear me talk. Yeah, yeah my interview, like ah, I didn't know I could speak like this. <laughs> well, obviously, so obviously, I didn't get to, you know get my mm-hmm. vibes exactly um obviously also maybe i didn't get to talk a lot talk enough about my clothing line i'm wearing my brand right now oh this wow my lovely. Brand. Okay. Closet. thank you so much i'm wearing my brand also i'm a dietitian i also didn't get to you know but for sure i'm out now and i'm going to use every opportunity i've got now because this is like a huge platform for me and i'm definitely obviously. going to use it to yeah. show the world you know and make up for the wrongs that are done and you know fix things for sure i'm okay. definitely going to fix it so do you expect that he's going to hook up with another girl in the house because there's still a lot of um, vacant girls in the house <laughs> i mean considering what he said about them not being his type i don't expect him to but okay. i won't be surprised if it happens would you be I don't expect him to. what do you feel about ozo and nangi and dorothy's situation um, I haven't been following the show since I got out, but being in the house, I feel like yeah. Ozo is a smart guy mm-hmm. and he knows what he wants for sure. So I feel like Dorothy has the personality of the woman he wants, mm-hmm. or maybe Nengi has the physical Ooh. attributes of the woman she has he the wants. Body. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She has the body. So, and he's definitely playing his games right because 
he let Lengi know like, oh, I'm physically attracted to you. Mm-hmm. But then he doesn't throw away the fact that Dorothy makes him happy. They have yeah, many conversations. Mm-hmm. They flow. She helps. They help each other. Literally, when I cook, he's bringing Dorothy and I. When she cooks, yeah. Dor- um, she's coming back to me. Lilo, Dorothy, yeah. maybe. So, I mean, they were, they are like the best friends in the house literally and she always had his back she will always tease him or whatnot but she will always tell him the truth and i also like the fact that he's a guy but he still always told her i see everything that was going on with him regardless right, like there was other guys in the house but he would still always tell Dorothy like everything going on in the house so okay. i just feel like he's he's a smart guy and <laughs> your least favorite housemate my least favorite yeah. housemate i didn't have a least being in the house but coming out i definitely have a least yeah. And it's going to okay. be V, for sure. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be V, yeah. I don't want to use anything negative, but like, yeah, okay. V has to be my least favorite housemate now, coming out of the house, for sure. Out of the house. Who was your favorite? Yeah. Besides Eric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favorite. Oh, I could say Bright. Oh, Bright Toe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Bright-o. I could say uh, Bright, yeah. Okay. Now, what's the one thing you would miss most about the house? I would definitely miss the fact that even the housemate didn't get to meet me. Like, I, I miss the fact that I know them quite well because, like, they qu- spoke quite a lot. But I miss the fact that they didn't, it, it doesn't sound right, but, like, yeah, I miss the fact that they didn't get to meet me. Because right. I'm sure coming out of the house, a lot of them would be like, oh, Lilo, oh, my gosh. Because, yeah. you know, the same way you view us are, like, surprised. Yeah. I feel like exactly. they'll be that way. Yes. So mm-hmm. I definitely miss that. I miss being me in the house. So shout out to the Leo lovers. Um, you guys stood by me, even though, you know, I didn't do the right things. But thank you so much for, you know, supporting me for the love, even in and outside the house. There's not so much love coming out of the house. I really appreciate and I'm sorry I didn't get to show myself, but right now I'm out and I'm going to show the world everything I've got. Like, I'm going to let you guys know so much about Lilo. I've got a whole lot of things I'm planning and coming up. And, you know, my clothing line as well. Please follow me on Instagram, Lilo Adiroba. My clothing line is Lilo's Closet. And, you know, thank you so much. I'm just going to make you people proud and show you how strong I am and what I've got for sure. Too exclusive TV.